what she did, her greatest inventions of all. So do you have any idea of who she was? Who was Josephine Cochran? Watch the story and listen carefully. To she decided she had many friends was a... Josephine Cochran was a very rich woman. She had many beautiful things. Okay. She never washed dishes or did housework. She had servants to do the work for her. Mrs. Cochran had a very good life. But Mrs. Cochran was not happy. Why? Her servants always broke her lovely dishes. One day, another dish broke. Mrs. Cochran got angry. She decided to do something. She decided to make a machine that washed dishes. Mrs. Cochran did not know anything about machines, mm -hmm. so she asked her friends for help. Finally, she made a dishwasher. It had places for plates, saucers, and cups. It was a lot like dishwashers today. She made the machine and showed it to her friends. Her friends thought the machine was amazing. They told other friends. Soon, many people knew about Mrs. Cochran's machine. Restaurants and hotels wanted to have a machine. It was 1886. 1886. Mrs. Cochran started a company to make dishwashers. Later, her company made the first dishwashers for the home. She named her dishwasher KitchenAid. Today, half the homes in the United States have dishwashers. Many people still buy KitchenAid dishwashers. Everyone can thank Mrs. Cochran for saving their nice dishes. So, let's make a summary of what you understood, all right? First of all, let's talk about the name. Her name was Mrs. Wu. Joseph Josephine Cochran. All right, let's now analyze exactly what she did. So, was she rich or was she poor? No, no, was she rich. Rich. So, did she work for somebody or somebody worked for her? For somebody worked. 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 Somebody worked. Worked. For her, come on. Somebody, Somebody works, works for, for her. her. So people worked for her, come on. People, people, people worked work for her. Exactly how do you call the people who work for somebody? Sir. Servants. Servants. So she had servants. Okay. Servants worked for her. Good. What was the problem she had with her servants? Her servants. Broke. Broke. Now the verb is broke. What did they break? Broke. What? Her lovely, her lovely dishes. Her lovely, her lovely dishes. Now the pronunciation here is lovely, lovely, lovely. And here, dishes. Dishes. Boxes. Okay. Now, they broke her beautiful dishes so as a consequence of this as a result of this she decided to do what she decided to uh, invent it to invent, to invent. To invent. remember she decided. decided the first verb we have decided and we have invent we have two verbs yeah. the first verb is conjugated so this is the main verb the second one we call it infinitive so we have to separate the two verbs with two with the preposition two. So she decided to invent. Now this is working as an infinitive. We call it infinitive. And this is the main verb. So she decided to invent dishwasher a dishwasher machine. Washer machine. Washer machine. Okay. She decided to invent that machine in what year? Do you remember? 1886. 1886. Come on, you need to complete sentence. She, she decided, decided to invent a uh, dishwasher dish machine. 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 In 
N A T A T S What happens today? Do people use a lot today, of washing yeah, machines in people, this society? Today, more people uh, use 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 this the dishwasher. This is a washing machine. All right. Now, give me one advantage and one disadvantage about the machine. Let's talk about the advantages. The advantages of this invention, the dishwashing machine. Uh, one advantage is, come on, uh, help right. it make the work easier. It made, makes the work easier. Another in, uh, More advantage, uh, party. More effective. It makes, come on, it makes, it makes the machine the makes. Machine made. More the uh, work more efficient. All right. Give me another advantage of the machine, uh, Mister. It is easy. It's easy to use. Come mm -hmm. on. It's easy to use. It is easy. Now let's talk about the disadvantage. Yeah. The disadvantage of this machine. What What is one main disadvantage? Not good. Not beneficial. Consume more. It consumes a lot of electricity. Electricity. Uh, and water. 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 And water. 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 Yeah. Only and that? The detergent. And the detergents. Alright. Detergents. Alright. After this brief discussion, after this brief discussion, we're going to move into another exercise. Right now, we are going to do a dictation. Are you ready for the dictation? Are you ready for the dictation? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Number one. Listen, repeat, and write. Okay, ready? Woman. She had many. Josephine Cochran was a very rich woman. Josephine Cochran was a very rich woman. Josephine Cochran was a very rich woman. Everybody? Yes, Josephine, Josephine Cochran, Cochran is a, was a very, very rich, rich woman. Come on, write it down. See if you, if you spell the word rich. Come on, write it down. 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 Let me check what you are doing. Let me see your work, uh, engineer. Josephine Cochrane was a very rich woman. You're missing the period. That's great. Thank you very much. Can I see this uh, party? Josephine Cochrane. Do you need um, the apostrophe S? No. We're talking about the, her name and last name. That's it. That's a very nice one. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. Now, look, look at me. Let me check now the spelling. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. All right, we have to capitalize the name and the last name. Okay, repeat after me. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. Now we have to put the words together. Let's blend the words so we can work on fluency. Josephine Cochrane was, 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 was a very nice woman. Come on. Josephine Cochrane was, was a very nice woman. Come on, party. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. Engineer. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. Now do you say. Very, very or very? Very. 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 Okay, let's go, uh, George. Josephine Cochrane was a very nice woman. Perfect. Okay. Second sentence. Water is black. I usually put some ice and lemon. Lemon. Lemon is very good. That is, it contains vitamin C. Okay. Second uh, sentence. She had many beautiful things. She had many beautiful things. She had many beautiful things. Come on. She has. She has or? Has. She has. She had. A many, many, many beautiful many. things. All right. She had many beautiful things. 
Let me check. I need my glasses. I'm, I'm getting old, guys. I need my glasses. Let's see if I can understand your spelling. Let me see, uh, party. Uh -oh. She had many beautiful things. There is one problem with the word beautiful. How many vowels do we use while spelling beautiful? Beautiful. How many vowels? B E A U. U. Yeah. Okay. It's a. So remember, she had <laughs> many beautiful <laughs> things. All right. Take a look at beautiful. Three vowels. Be beautiful. Beautiful. E A U. <laughs> She had many, uh, three beautiful things. Let's, many beautiful things. What exactly are they talking about? What are the things that are beautiful to her? Okay, let's continue. She never washed dishes or did housework. Dishes or did housework. Washed di she never washed dishes. She never washed dishes. She never washed dishes or she never washed dishes. Come on. She never washed wash. dishes. Whoa. Whoa. What is this verb pronunciation in past? Washed. Washed. How do you pronounce this verb in past? Washed. 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 Look, 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 look. Ooh. Ah, and then. And then, look, look at this, washed, come on, washed, washed. come on, washed, she never washed, come on, she, she never, never washed, washed dishes. dishes, come on, she, she never washed dishes. dishes, come on, write it down, let me see your spelling, she never washed dishes, Or did housework. Washed dishes or did housework. Washed dishes or did housework. Or, or, Patty, she never washed dishes or, or home, home or home. did housework. Housework. How do you spell housework? Housework. Housework. How do you spell this word? H-O-U-S-E-W-O-R-K -E -E <laughs> She never washed dishes or did housework. <laughs> okay, I have somebody. I have somebody now on Facebook, she, he says that the correct thing will be she never, I think he's a uh, Leoner, he's saying that she never washes. <laughs> Leoner, it's not, Johnny, it's not washes because it's in past, we're not talking about the past. So it should be washed. Got it? Washed. Got it, Leonor? <laughs> Good. Now, Leonie, say hello to your family for me. Say hello to your family for me, Leonie. Let us continue, guys. Another sentence. She had servants to do the work for her. She had servants to do the work for her. She had servants to do the work for her. Come on. Mrs. Cochran had a very she had good what? She had what? But Mrs. C good luck. Mrs. Cochran. Mrs. Cochran had a to do the work. She had servants to do the work.